Hey, what's up? Welcome back. In this episode, you're going to see how to set up letter opener, which is a gem for testing emails locally in development. We want to get our email sending just set up so that we can generate some mailers that we're going to use for notifying the customer that their downloads are ready. And then also for a magic link authentication system that we're going to set up later. So let's get into it. The first thing I want to do is jump over to the terminal here. We want to say bundle add letter opener and the group is development. Now the letter opener gem, uh, we've talked about this a couple of different times on this channel, and I just wanted to include it inside of this series because it is such a helpful gem. The way that we set this up is we go to the, de the development environment and we're gonna drop in these two lines here. So let's open up our development.rb and go down to the mailer section and we're gonna add in these two lines. Now something that we're gonna run into later is that the URL for links that are inside of our emails, we want those to be fully qualified. And that means that if we're gonna send a link that is going to be related to a store and it might have a subdomain, we want the top level domain, instead of being localhost, we want that to be lvh.me uh, in the local environment so that we are able to have fully qualified domains. So that is dropped in there. All right, so let's just make a new mailer. So Rails G mailer, let's call this the users mailer. And for now, we'll add a method, a sort of like an email that we might send that's just called welcome. And this might be something that we're gonna be able to use to, to test if certain things are working. Now, when we usually say Rails G mailer user, that's gonna create the mailer object for us and it'll create the fuse directory, but by adding this welcome method at the end, this is kind of like when you generate a controller and you can specify different actions. Here, we can specify the different emails that we're gonna send with this user mailer. And so we get back this welcome.html.erb and welcome.text.erb views. So let's open up the mailer and take a look at what we've got. So by default, we're gonna get this mailer view and it has a greeting and this is where we're sending the email to. We can also have a default like from address. Um, but for now, what we're gonna do is just, we just wanna like test that our mailer is working. So we're gonna open up Rails console and we're gonna say, uh, I don't know, user mailer dot um, welcome dot deliver uh, now. And this should actually fire off our mailer. You'll notice that the browser was just opened right up and we can see the, where the template is, we can see the from and the to, and we have our subject of welcome. So what we could do is if we wanted to override the subject here, we can say subject is like, this is our subject and reload, and we can fire that off again. And here we see it again, and now the subject has changed to this is our subject. If we wanted, we can also update the from address, the default from address, we can say default from is actually hello, at creators or creator platform.xyz. I can't remember what we called it. Okay, and that now, if we reload and send our mailer again, it says this is our subject. So the way that we actually change the content of the email is by going to the views directory here. And inside of the views, if we look down under user mailer, here are the two views. We have an HTML view and a text view. That's because depending on your, uh, the, your end users, their email client may support HTML. It probably supports HTML. Like we're in 2022, 2023, like people are going to be having uh, their email parsed in HTML. But if you have some really old schools, I don't know, someone's like receiving their email through some text-based email system, then they might also want to receive this as text. I am not going to bother sending anything in the text format. And so here we're just gonna say, all right, this is gonna be like a big welcome message. And here's where we can, uh, how we pass data from the mailer to the view. That's by defining instance variable. So here we have our greeting that says, hi, we might say welcome uh, friend, I don't know, like, yeah, or welcome to the creator platform, um, right? Okay, so that's gonna be our greeting. And that is what is going to be rendered out. So we're gonna use the same HTML ERB syntax that we use inside of our views. Those are just gonna to happen to be inside of these views for the mailers. So if we reload again inside of Rails console and resend this, now we see welcome. It's welcome to the creator platform. This is from hello at creator.xyz. This is probably pretty, pretty hard to read. Okay, so this is our subject. This is when it was sent, et cetera, et cetera. All right, so at this point, we've got mailing set up. We know how to send mail. Uh, one other thing you might wanna know is that like, if we want to, we can pass in arguments here 
and then use those arguments. We can say at user is user. So we might be able to reload this and say we want this welcome email to have, I don't know, user.first or something to deliver now. And if we wanted to, we could use at user inside of the view, et cetera. You get the point. That's how we set up mail locally. In the next episode, we're gonna set up a magic link authentication system so that our end customers can come to their order pages and view their orders and download them, et cetera. So stick around for that. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one.